Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I try and create home decor stuff on a budget. So today I'm going to share with you how I made this IKEA inspired candle holder by using all the things that I already had at my house. So if you're interested in knowing how I made this, then please keep on watching. I'm starting by removing the head part of the spec dolls by using a handsaw. Once I have the head part cut off, I am sanding the flat part to get some smooth plain ends. Now my aim is to get these big doll heads and these ping pong balls or table tennis balls into the skewer stick so that I will have a much stronger support in the center. So for doing this, I am starting by gluing two big doll heads together around its flat base by using some wood glue. Now while the peg doll heads are drying, I am going to make holes in these ping pong balls so that the skewer stakes can pass through it. To make sure that the holes are all aligned and uniform, I am first trying to keep all the balls together by sticking them on a masking tape so that they can all be drilled together. But this was a task in itself, so it required an extra pair of hands as the balls kept moving around. To mark the point where I need to make the hole, I am trying to find the center of the balls and once I have a rough estimate of it, I am drilling a hole in all the balls together. So now we can pass the skewer stick through these balls. In the same way, I am drilling a hole in the peg doll head and making sure that it goes through and through. This will also require some extra strength and time, so please be patient. Now once the holes are drilled, this is how the whole arrangement would look. Now moving on to making the base for the candle stand for which I am using this piece of a wood slice which is actually a part of our Christmas tree from last year. This will work perfectly for my base as I wanted something a bit heavy. Ideal would be a heavy metal disc but since I didn't have that, I am working with this wood slice. I am going to find the center of this disc and then I am drilling a hole into it to make the skewer stick pass through it. Now I am using some hot glue here and sticking the skewer stick with this wood disc. To make the thing which will hold the candle, I am using one complete peg doll and I am drilling a big hole in the base. I am not going through and through with this hole, but I am trying to create just enough room so that it can hold the candle. Next, I am drilling a hole in the head too so that the stick can pass through it. To measure how much stick I need to cut, I am passing the stick through the top peg doll and the point where it stops, I am holding that point and I am measuring it so that I will keep only that much length in the stick and the rest I can cut off. So for me this length was around 4cm, so I am keeping 4cm of the stick and cutting the rest off. Thank you. 
For the final piece, I did remove one set of the joint peg doll heads because I felt like my candle stand was going a bit too long for my liking. So for the final thing, I kept it to two ping pong balls, one set of the peg doll heads joined together and one complete peg doll for the holder. I of course had to remeasure and cut the stick again for doing this adjustment. Finally, I'm just hot gluing the entire thing with the rest of the body of the candle stand. The IKEA candle stand was black in color, so I am painting mine black too. Now you can leave it with black paint on and it will look really great and very similar to the IKEA one but I added one more step into it by spray painting on it with this stone textured finished spray in white. I feel like this will give it a more stone like look making it more rough and rugged. And your candle stand is ready. If you don't have peg dolls around you, you can make this complete thing by using some more ping pong balls or anything that is really round but the best would be if you can lay your hands on something which is not only round but also heavy as this will make you stand a bit more sturdy. Again instead of the wood disc, you can also use a metal lid of a jar but again aim for something which is a bit heavy and can act as a strong enough base. So what do you guys think of this IKEA inspired candle stand? I hope you liked my take on it and if you did, then give this video a big fat thumbs up and share your views and feedback in the comment section below, especially of what you think of the use of stone paint in the end or if I should have left it black as the IKEA inspiration. And please come and be a part of this unusual family by subscribing to my channel and don't forget that teeny tiny little bell right next to the subscribe button so that you know when I share all my future videos. Thank you so much for your time and support. I am really humbled by this little family of supporters that I have managed to make here. Thank you so much. I will talk to you soon with another of my budget-friendly DIYs. Till then, please take care and stay safe.